I think it's a famous quote, very American, of course, but it's uh, hire slow, fire fast. I mean, mm. that fire fast thing isn't that easy in the Nordics. People have no. to remember yeah. that. But uh, maybe I think sort of the that you always need to sort of maybe in your head, you need to have hiring high in your priority because yeah. maybe you need a person in six months yeah. and getting the right candidate can be super hard because yeah. good candidates have options so maybe just yeah. talk a bit about that as well yeah this year has been a perfect example of that where we had a good team going into the year and then we had the ipo market exploding so uh, it's been a fantastic year in time for us in, in terms of, of of sales but uh, we were too slow uh, when it comes to to getting new people in now we've been lucky the last couple of weeks here so so we will we will manage but but we have had a couple of people here that's been working fairly hard uh the the, the last couple of months uh here so so yeah you have to be more and more uh proactive in your approach and that's something that i'm really learning so so to to uh to hire slow is something that i've been good at sometimes too good uh that's one thing that I actually regret, and I see that we would have been able to grow a little bit faster uh, if we would have been a little bit more proactive. But it's it's like an investment; it's easy to see in in the rear view mirror. Uh, but but uh, that's something I'm learning from. And when we have the possibility, when the like when the car is working, we really try to to fuel it up. Uh, so we're not adding people when when the structures aren't there, but when they are there. We try to uh, to to fuel the car up a little bit faster. Um, in terms of firing fast, that's my that's not my strong suit. Uh, I I try sometimes maybe in in a too large extent see the the best in every individual, and I I try to if I see it as our if I brought someone in, it's a little bit on me. Uh, I I I I should know. Who they are, what they can give us. Uh, so if that is, is is still there, if they haven't done anything wrong or anything completely out of context, I really, really want to try to to help them achieving here. Uh, sometimes that's the right way to do, and it builds culture. And sometimes maybe I should have done differently. I agree. Just a couple of more questions. Uh, obviously, COVID has also accelerated working from home, etc. Yep. Uh, obviously, you hire very smart people. So how do you view that concept of freedom and responsibility? And has that changed your mind during the last years? I would say no. I'm still a firm believer in working as a group in a physical place. Uh, I feel like 80 year old, 80 years old when I say it, because it's 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 not in line with most people's uh, view uh, on it. But I really, I really stand for what I say. Uh, I believe that you should use the fact that you're a small company. Uh, big companies have to have meetings all the time. We can go over to to the other person's screen and do th- do things like in the room. Uh, for me, that's when magic happens. That's when the best ideas just pop out of everything, anything, uh, and, and, and stuff like that. So, um, I'm not a fan of the full remote model. I understand that it works for, for some companies. And if you founded the company that way, it probably could work. Uh, and for big companies, it works better. But for us, uh, I would never go all the way there. With that said, I have to understand and respect the, the, the new reality, so to say. Uh, and we have to compete with, with companies that, that offer full remote. Um, so, so we do a model where, where you have uh, two remote days per, per week, uh, voluntarily. Uh, we have a lot of people that that don't use those at all, and we have some that uh, it's a it's a time in their life when it really works that way. But but I do not do uh, exceptions on on that if you're not sick or something like that. But because we want our people or and our company to be to be office first, not because I should stand there and see if you're you're are you working are you working, but rather to give the 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 person modular finance the the possibility to strive and i think that's that's uh, almost only possible if we 
we do it together and, and we talk and, and we have not figured out a way to do that uh, remote. I mean, there's trade-offs to everything. So I think you're, you're explaining your thinking very, very well. Maybe this question is a more a bit philosophical, but I, it, it is in terms of obviously you achieved a lot in a very young age. So just in your in your view of life, do you feel like you have destiny control in, in everything you do? So the destiny control aspect would be like you can use an analogy like calculus. If you do A, B, C, you should expect this result. Yeah. Or you can have the view that it's more statistical. So you have like a normal distribution and you will fall in in every in in a random part. Of course, you can act on it and improve it, but it, it more about life is a bit more random. Do you have a do you have a view on that at all? Or I have to believe that that we can uh, that we can push things in the right direction but my investment career has has showed me that that uh, that of course i cannot expect a, a straight line just because i work for it so to say so no i would not say that i have destiny control and, and one of the big things that that's that's hard uh is to 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 what, what the days when you think okay uh if i would not do this what would I do then? That that's the really hard part. I think I still love this, and and that's why I I I, I do it every day. It's it's still the the happy customer, and the 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 evolving uh, employee. Uh, those are the two things that that drive me. And of course, I'm also a competitive person, and I want our, our ARR to 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 grow, but. Not because it's money, rather I see it as as points, and and that we as a team do things better to together. But no, I would not say that that I I, I have a view that I can just uh, if I just do this, this happens. Uh, we have to be super uh, humble and and happy every day that where 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 the where the cards are dealt in a way that that's favorable for us, and and uh, otherwise we just have to adapt. It's a perfect ending. Peter, it's been so much fun having you on. Just a final question. Where can people get in touch and try your products uh, and get in contact? Yeah, so uh, Modular Finance is a business-to-business -business, uh, company. So so uh, there we we, uh, we tell all uh, institutions, banks, list companies to to contact us uh, at sales at modularfinance.se to know more about our products. Uh, something that we haven't talked about today, but that's fun as well, is that we do have a uh, business-to-consumer initiative that's called bushdata.se. Uh, that's a consumer product for for a screening tool. So so now you understand that I am objective. I've talked about me not using screening that much, but but that's a fantastic product uh, to to have as a part of your investment approach. Um, so uh, you can also look look into uh, to that. And if you want to ask me something, I, I always have, uh, I always try to answer every email that I get. So, so the email is up on our webpage, modularfinance.se. Uh, and I try to be as active as I can on, on Twitter. Uh, I would love to discuss uh, specific companies more than I do, but I've decided not to with respect to, to, to my mark position. But, but uh, even though I, I realize as much of my tweets are, are cheesy as hell. I try to to sometimes uh, give some some advice and some ideas and some things that I've uh, learned along the way.